Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Maggie May Crochet. I'm Maggie and this is video six in our series for absolute beginner crocheters. We started the series learning to create a single crochet. We moved on to a half double crochet. The last video was a double crochet. And today's video, we are going to learn how to do a triple crochet. So as you're crocheting, you might come across some terminology that is new to you. For instance, um, you might see patterns that specify US or UK terms. Um, what I'm teaching in, in these tutorials are US terminology. Um, you may come across UK terminology as you do some um, research or as you're watching more tutorials online. The difference between the US and UK terminology is that the UK is one step um, kind of ahead of what we call our terms. For instance, um, a single crochet in US terminology is a double crochet in the UK. A double crochet in US terminology is a treble crochet in the UK. And what we call a treble crochet or triple crochet, what we're doing today, they call a double treble crochet. Okay, so we'll begin our piece with chaining 19. So we have a foundation chain created with 19 chains. When you do a triple crochet, you're going to be placing your first stitch in the fifth chain from your hook. We'll count one, two, three, four, five. For a triple crochet, you wrap your yarn twice around your hook. One, two, into the fifth, one, two, three, four, five chains. Pull the yarn through that fifth foundation chain, and now you'll have four loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. You yarn over and pull the yarn through the first two loops. Now there are three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two. Wrap the yarn twice around your hook. Go into the next foundation chain, pull the yarn through, four loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and two loops are on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two. Wrap the yarn twice around your hook. Go into the next foundation chain. Pull the yarn through. Four loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops are on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Two loops are on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those last two. Now, a triple crochet is also called a treble crochet, T-R-E-B-L-E. -E. Um, I will refer to it as a triple crochet because that's how I learned it, but you may see it and hear people say treble. Um, you'll have to forgive me, I'm a little awkward with uh, crocheting today. You can see I've got my thumb bandaged up. I had an accident while I was cutting some sourdough bread for my other YouTube channel. I made um, a couple of loaves of cranberry walnut bread and when I went to cut the loaves, I missed and <laughs> cut the tip of my thumb here. So sorry for the clumsy thumb. So I'm gonna continue on. I will meet you at the end and we'll talk about how we create our turning chain. Okay, so we should have 15 triple crochets and our chain four that got us the height to create our triple crochet. So all together, there should be 16. So we'll count this chain four as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, 16 across. Now, 
Um, if you remember from our last videos, when we get to the end, we need to create a turning chain to give us height to go ahead and stitch our way back again. So for a triple crochet, we need to create four chains for our turning chain. One, two, three, four, and turn your work. Now we'll be going in to the second chain from the end. Remember that our turning chain is going to be counting as one triple crochet. So this turning chain goes with this stitch. We'll be making the first triple crochet into this second stitch here. Wrapping the yarn twice, going into the second stitch. And remember, you'll know that you're going into the right place if you're going into the V. When you turn your work facing up, you'll notice all these V's along the top of your work. You'll put your hook in through the V, pull your yarn through, four loops are on your hook, yarning over, pull through two, three loops are on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops are on your hook, yarn over, We are going to make a triple crochet in this end stitch that would make our 15th stitch. One, this is our turning chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So our 15th is going to be here. And then we're going to have to pull up into the fourth chain of our turning chain here to create our 16th stitch. Wrapping the yarn twice, going into the 15th triple crochet here. You'll notice too that I tend to be grabbing onto my work as we're, I'm creating these stitches. They're much taller, so you need to kind of I don't know, hang on to or grab them. So I apologize if I'm covering up the work, but you'll understand as you're making your stitches. As they're getting taller, you'll be covering the stitch and holding on to it as well. Okay, so that was our 15th stitch. Now the 16th is going to be a little challenging because it has to go into this turning chain. And you're going to have to try to see that through my bandaged thumb. <laughs> so, um, all right, so we had four as our turning chain. One, two, three, four. This, and again, you can see somewhat how this would be the last chain in this row. If you follow along the row of chains here, you can see it almost sticking out right there. So you're going to be creating the 16th triple crochet right in here. Wrapping your yarn twice. You can turn your work over and you can see your V's. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth V. And again, this is pretty darn challenging, but the more you do it, the easier it'll get and you'll be able to discern those stitches and see them. It might just look like a bunch of twisted up yarn to you right now, but as you do this, you'll get the hang of it more and more. One, two, three, four, turning my work. Not going into this space, starting in the second space and working my way across. Okay, so I wanted to show you this end again um, because I think that's the most challenging part of this whole thing. And um, the reason that I want to really point it out again is that if you miscount at the ends, your yarn or your work can either start to grow <laughs> and make a V or come in and make a triangle if you're not making sure to count between each row. They make these cool little um, stitch counters 
that you can use to help you once you start getting <laughs> this thumb, once you start getting a project that is really long, let's say, um, and you need to keep count of your stitches, you can use these stitch counters to you know count, let's say, every 10 or 20 or whatever, and put one in, and that'll help you uh, keep track of your stitches. But they're really handy. I like these. They come in a couple different. Um, styles. I like this one here. Uh, it's almost like a little safety pin. Um, and it's also really good if you are um, in the middle of a project and you want to put it away or put it down for a little bit. Or maybe if you have a pet or kids, um, they can maybe pull on this uh, yarn and all your work will be gone. So what's really neat is these stitch counters. If you can put one on your loop, take your hook out, <laughs> my thumb, gosh, I'm sorry. There we go. Um, that way, if the ends do get pulled, your stitches aren't lost. You see how it just kind of holds your place for you. So they're really handy for that. All right, so let me get back to ending this for you. We'll count, we should have 15 stitches. The 16th will go in the fourth chain of our turning chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and our 16th will go. Here's 1, 2, 3, and this is the fourth. You can see, maybe I'll get a needle to point this out. You can see the tops of these stitches here, and this fourth one will create the next one over. I don't know if you can see this well, what I'm trying to show. But you'll put that stitch here into the fourth chain of the turning chain. And when I pull it this way, you can see how it's going to make this bar cross like these. Pulling through two, pulling through two, and pulling through two, okay? And now you can see how you've got the bar coming across just like the rest of these coming through here by going into that fourth turning chain. One, two, three, and then so forth. So there you have it. That's a triple or treble crochet. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate uh, those of you who take the time to watch, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, really grateful and enjoying the heck out of this. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I post a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.